first of all, this home has been here for five years. Five years. Yeah, I started 2006 mm -hmm. with an aim of assisting few children. I work in town. I have a small butcher shop, mm -hmm. which I was given by my mother. Mm -hmm. And as I was doing my business, there were two kids came there and they were looking for food. Uh, one girl was carrying her brother mm -hmm. and I got interested when he was picking the food from dustbin. I asked her why she is collecting the leftover and she told me that she is an orphan. Then I was so much touched because they were eating a lot of dirty and from that date I told her to be coming in my butcher shop so that I can be giving her food. The next day she came with about four children and they were very dirty, very hungry and in my heart I felt it's it was it was very bad for some of our children going to school and these children were not going to school, they were hungry. Sometimes we eat food and we'll leave the food without anybody taking and I asked my mother to help me. At that time I I, I, my mother gave me some money so that I can buy for them food and give to the children. Mm -hmm. I, there was a center in, uh, in a village. I was taking maybe one bag of maize and bag of rice. After two days, this, when I go there to look if the children have been fed, if the children have been fed, somebody told me that they were selling the the food that I was giving to the orphans. Mm -hmm. That time is the time that I decided to have a lunch so that I can build a small room so that I can be feeding the children. And after that I realized it is not only the feeding the children, they need even education, clothing and shelter. That what that's that what made me to start this home. My mother is a business who was she passed Last last year, it, no, it's a month ago. She was a business lady. She was, she had a construction in town, in Maral town. When I told her my interest, she told me to take these, all the materials, so that I can start the orphanage. She's the one who supported me. Yeah, my work and my mother. She's the one who supported me so much because. When I started, she was the one who was giving me the food and everything so that they can feed the children. We started with very few children, about four children. Right now we have 45 children. Yeah, and we have about four children who are they are small children. But all these others, have, they have gone to the school. Yeah, from class one. We have from class one to class six. And the great problem that we normally have is water because we don't have running water. We buy water from the water boozer and sometimes we get water from the Ministry of Water, but we get it for a short time and then, it, but it is not enough for us. What I get from my bush, busher shop, I bring it here and well wishes. When we get well wishes, they just come and donate for us and that's how we normally run the home. And right now we have the lady Jennifer, She norm sometimes she normally helps us. Yeah, that's how we normally mm -hmm. run the mm -hmm. home. And the great challenge that we have is food mm -hmm. because these children, they are innocent. They, you cannot tell them that today there is no food. You have to give them. And that is the great challenge that we have. Mm -hmm. When my business goes down, I get a lot of challenge because Mommy, it's, I have to bring the food here. Mommy. So I normally go to a shop Mommy. and borrow the food and bring it to the children. When I get the money, I go and pay the food that I have already debt from the town. Mm -hmm. yeah, and water. Water is another great problem that we, we normally have because our children, they are very young children. They need to be clean all the time and wash their clothing. Now water is the another great challenge that we are having. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Also beds, beddings. Yeah. Because we are what where we are getting our sources it's just only to maintain the homes. Right now we have one frontier. Mm -hmm. She normally she does not come every day mm -hmm. but 
the two ladies i have or i have only two ladies and one man so that they can help each other mm-hmm. they have a lot of work but it's because i don't have enough money to employ me many employers they are the only ones that i can afford yeah. sometimes even me i normally come so that we can work together and mm-hmm. finish the work when we started i think it, the community knew that we are here mm-hmm. and because of maybe some people they have problem and we want only to identify the orphans the poor orphans we don't take only the orphans but we normally take the poor orphans and the orphans who are affected by hiv they are mm-hmm. the ones that we have in our home now mm, the church elders and the priest are the ones that we coordinate with them so that they can give us the right children mm-hmm. even the community sometimes they know when they see a child is an orphan and maybe he is neglected they normally come and call us and we do our research to know exactly that child is an orphan mm-hmm. and she is she or he is neglected by the family mm-hmm. also from the hospital sometimes we have about three cases for the children who are left in the hospital when the guardians knew that they are hiv and their parents have already died because of the hiv they leave the child mm-hmm. there so the doctor normally they have our contact when they get such an a case they just call me and then we try to sort out mercy was left in town mm-hmm. and her mother her mother died and she was left with with her grandfather and the grandfather said that he's then he does not want well, the grandfather was not able to raise the baby so the well the grandfather ran away and left the baby alone she she was left in the house alone well we just came when they heard her cry and they brought they brought the baby here yeah and we have kanoti a boy called kanoti he was taken to the hospital by her grandfather grandmother when she realized that she was hiv they believe in samburu they believe to have a hiv you are it is a curse and he was left in the hospital alone the doctor called me he's 12 years old when he was brought here it was last year he was 7 7 kg 7 kilos yeah very thin he could not walk he could not do anything and right now he's very healthy and he's in class 2 what's my wish is that if god open for us a way we can have a big orphanage so that we can help those children so that they can lead us for a, and maybe or maybe help us help other children later yeah yeah and they can be a good example and to know that to be orphan mm-hmm. it is not the end of the earth you yeah. can do something else yes. you can be a teacher and to achieve this children's goal mm-hmm. what they want to be mm-hmm. when they complete their education yeah. there are so many children who are here they need help and because of the problem that we are facing right now we cannot take them but for the special cases we normally take but right now we don't we, we are not able to take them.